Hello, I'm Eva Rios, and welcome to Recipe Rehab, sponsored by Everyday Health. On this episode, the Parker family loves their traditional Indian lamb tikka masala recipe. Honest to God, this is good. Thanks, baby. My mom's lamb tikka masala is delicious, but far from healthy. She does it with butter. You're going to put a whole stick in this? Yeah. Heavy whipped cream and full fat lamb. Wow, mom, look at all this fat. See, kids, this is what makes it. Flavorful. I love it. But each serving has got nearly 2,000 calories, and it's got the same amount of saturated fat as 13 fried chicken thighs. The Parker's little lamb is very bad for them. My wife and I both have high blood pressure and high cholesterol. We really need to find a healthier alternative to our favorite foods. Please rehab our lamb tikka masala. Our two chefs. We'll battle it out to see who can rehab that recipe and make it more nutritious. I'm going to keep the lamb, and I'm going to trim all the fat. But still is delicious. Yeah, I'm adding all my spices. It smells so good. Then the Parkers will cook the rehab recipes in their own kitchen. Cooking is therapeutic, so you know what you're doing. The recipes will be judged on taste, health, and ease of preparation. You guys are still making the gravy? You've got a boss cooked already. Which stuff will have the best curry? Great taste. And who will start to worry? That doesn't look at it. And who will win the title of Recipe Rehab Champion? <laughs> We are two culinary combatants. At the Green Station, it's certified Master Chef Richard Rosendale. And at the Yellow Station, it's Bollywood, I mean Hollywood celebrity chef Vicky Krinsky. Are you ready to see the dish that's in need of a dire fixing? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we go, you guys. <laughs> wow. You can see a lot of oil coming out of it already. Are you guys ready to give it a taste? Yeah, let's Absolutely. do it. I'm ready to taste it. Okay. It's very dense. I taste a lot of oil, a lot of butter. Spicy. Yeah, it's got a pack. Which is totally appropriate. But I think that we can kind of add some fresher vegetables in there and make it a little bit more vibrant. This dish has 1,999 calories per serving. That's about all the calories you'll need in an entire day. Are you guys up for the challenge? Very much so. Okay, guys, let's put 60 minutes on the clock. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. We're yeah. ready. Let's rehab that recipe. Our chefs will be judged in three categories. The Parker family will judge the dishes on taste and ease of preparation, and the Everyday Health Nutritionist will give each recipe a score for health. Okay, Richard, what's your plan of attack here? I'm going to be doing turkey masala meatballs with bulgur wheat. I'm swapping out that fatty lamb in the original recipe. I'm going to be using lean turkey for my meatballs. And for the gravy, they have a lot of ghee, which is like a clarified butter, and cream. I'm going to replace that with lots of spices, more vegetables, and I'm using some bulgur wheat instead of the rice. It's going to make a huge difference. I'll be able to cut the calories by 80% and the cholesterol by 85% just from doing those swaps. That's incredible. Okay, so Vicky, what's your plan? So I'm making a lamb tikka with chickpeas and spinach. It's such a traditional family. They really like the lamb, that I didn't want to depart too much from that. I'm also going to get rid of the white rice. And instead, I'm actually going to make a cauliflower mash. I'm cutting the calories by 60%. I'm cutting the fat by about 85%. I'm cutting the sodium by about 70%. Sounds great. What are you doing now? Well, I'm getting ready to make my meatballs, and I'm swapping out that fatty lamb that was in the original recipe, and I'm using lean turkey. Terrific, and it looks like you're using turkey from our sponsor, Jenny Health. That's right. It's a great, simple, smart option. Easy swap for any recipe that calls for me. And you know, the benefit is some of them make it just so much healthier without sacrificing any of the flavor of the original dish. Now I'm getting ready to add all of my spices. We're gonna portion these off on a tray. Quick question though. This is looking a lot more Italian than it's looking at you. The taste is not gonna be Italian. It's definitely gonna be close to the recipe that the family recognizes. Good, good, good. Chef, what have you got in here? I have my seared lamb. I've trimmed it back. So it really does help me out the meat. I just want to ground the meat on the one side, and I'm going to take it out and go ahead and start making all my sauce. Richard is using turkey. Do you feel like you uh, might have an edge here with your lamb? Yeah. If we can keep the lamb and then add the spinach and add maybe some non-traditional ingredients, it would help the parents to really like the dish. Well, it smells good. 
Put out the hot creamer, the chefs of China share the calories from the Parker family's lamb tikka masala. Which recipe will the Parker family think is second to none? <laughs> it's time for our first break in the Everyday Health Pop Quiz. Eating lean protein is an important part of maintaining a healthy diet. Which of these foods is considered a lean protein? A, turkey, B, beans, C, low-fat yogurt, or D, all of the above? The answer, when we return to Recipe Rehab. This segment of Recipe Rehab is brought to you by Jen.